So it looks like you need to point your domain name to web for realty servers. Uh, now it's very easy to do this. The first thing you got to do is find out where was your domain name purchased. Now for many of you, you already know. You know I bought it from GoDaddy, I bought it from Network Solutions, what have you. If you don't know, all you got to do is go to whois.net, okay? The link will be in the tutorial. And what you put in here is the domain name that you purchased. So let's say I purchased raminazim.com, which is my name, and I press search. It will tell me, okay, so it is registered, and it looks like it was registered through GoDaddy. And in many cases, they'll even give me the URL. So if I want to log in, I got to go to godaddy.com. Great, so now I know where my domain name was purchased. The second step, we're going to go to the registrar, which is godaddy.com. Now once I'm in there, um, I will sign in. Now, of course, you may have forgotten your login. So you could always do a forgot password or a forgot username and go through the steps. Once you're in there, you're going to hit sign in. Now, all registrars are very similar. The main goal here is to get to the area where all your domains are. So for GoDaddy, what I do is I click on the top here and I click My Products. And like I said, uh, most registrars are very similar. Now once you're there, you could click on the domains and it will list out all the domains you own. So in this case, I own RaminaZim.com. How do I point this to the servers? Now what you're going to do is you want to get to an area where you can manage DNS, okay? So you'll either see the words DNS being used or the words name servers being used. Regardless of the case, uh, you need to get this, to this section. Now once you're in this section, it's actually very easy. Uh, what you're looking to do is to update the A record IP. So you'll know that you're in the right spot because you'll see the records, the type will be A, the name will be the at symbol and the value will be an IP address. None of the other records have an IP address, okay? So this is the only record that you need to update. Now, updating the record is very easy. Um, again, with all registrars, they're very similar. Maybe you'll have an edit button instead of a pencil button, but the point is you just need to get in there, okay, where you can edit it, and where it says points to, I'm going to change this IP address with the IP address for web for realty servers. Again, this will be provided in the tutorial, so no need to worry. Uh, once you've added it in there, you're going to hit save. You're not going to change anything else, and you should be good. And that's literally all you have to do. You can log out and uh, go load your website through the back end, and your website will be live in a couple of hours. Thank you.